Coach Wells mentioned playing fast and trying to push the tempo at times. How important are those depth wide receivers? You know, not maybe the guys who are starting play one on Saturday, but you know those guys who are going to be able to come in and rotate throughout the game. Yeah, and I for you know as long as I've been here at K State for Coach Kleiman, it's been next man up. Everybody has to be ready. So as far as the depth piece of it, you know we've always had guys ready to go and ready to play whenever their number is called. So for them being a depth guy, um, that hasn't changed for them as far as their preparation and then being ready for their opportunity. Because for them, it's not about them. It's about showing the team that they're ready no matter when their number is called. How's uh, Dante different from the last time you coached him at your prior stop? Yeah, he's matured, um, matured in a sense of he's been through some things, you know, so now he's grown in how he's going to uh, prepare, how he's understanding playbooks and how he's learning signals and things like that. So for him, you know, as I left him, it was his going into his senior year, you know what I mean? Going into his junior, senior year. So now I've gotten that adult version of him to where he's seen a lot of different pictures. He's done a lot of different things. It's really, you know, understanding what we're doing schematically and how we're, how we're attacking things on a daily basis. Keegan Johnson is one of the more popular names to bring up as guys that are maybe most improved and ready to have a real breakout year for K-State. Everybody's mentioning his name. Why do you think he's the one that's standing out the most? Yeah, Keegan just, I mean, he is a, a mature young man. He works really hard. You know, hes he doesn't say too much, you know, uh, unless he needs to. Um, he's a cerebral young man, so he pays attention to what's going on, and he really dives in on the work, you know, and he focuses on the things that he needs to do so he can have success for the team. So, you know, Keegan is just consistent, you know, off the field and on the field. So he's put in a lot of work to become a consistent person and a consistent player. So I think that's why that's happened. It's pretty clear how, how much Avery believes in Jace. How much confidence do you think that sparks in him when, when the quarterback likes you? That, that has to go a long way. Yeah, and I think for Jace, that comes from when, you know, when he got here and Avery got here at the same time. You know, they worked. They spent a lot of time together. So, you know, that chemistry was built. And so Jace isn't one that kind of lacks off at practice either. He has really good practice habits. So um, the timing is consistent. And for Jace, that confidence there, knowing that, hey, if I'm busting my butt and I'm getting open uh, or any situation, the quarterback does trust me. What's Sterling done best in training camp? Yeah, Sterling has just brought a level of consistency as well. He has changed in the sense of he has become confident in what we do schematically. Um, he's, come, he's become confident in who he is as a player. So he knows how to use his skill set uh, to find ways to get open and win. Um, and even at the point of attack when it comes to blocking. So I think Sterling has just developed really good study habits, um, honing in on the details of his craft and his work, and then understanding who he is as a receiver so that he can go and have success day in and day out, which has brought him consistency. Has he made as big a jump as anybody? He's the one we didn't hear a whole lot about till suddenly this fall or maybe in the spring. Yeah, I would say he's, I mean, I, I would say, yeah, he's made a big jump. And, you know, I mean, last year he played in the, you know, in the bowl game. So it, it was from a sense of he took the time, the off season to learn what we're doing. And then again, he's gotten stronger. He's gotten a little faster as far as change of direction. And I think for him, it's just full out confidence. I know what I'm doing. I know what the practice schedule is like. I know how to go out there and compete and I'm gonna compete even harder than what I have.